So uh, penultimate trick, what's it? It is view relationships between queries. Hmm. How do you view relationships? We've done so many queries. What's the relationship between them? Let's have a look. So view relationship within queries. How do we do that? So obviously I said view, right? So it should be somewhere in view. So if I go to view, then you can see query dependencies. So click on that and then you have this dialog box. Let me maximize it. This dialog box, I can zoom in a bit so you can see it. So this is a mapping of all the queries you have. So this is one source. If I hover over it, you see this is my source called Consolidate folder. If you had watched all the videos uh, from the beginning to the end, you would see that we did a Consolidate folder and this is it here. So this is just a direct link. Then we had, I did a lot of stuff with one, um, one file called auto headings recon so auto headings recon we loaded we did summarize data with it we did auto headings recon we duplicated it we did a flash fill with it we did choose columns with it this auto recon number two we did profile with it we created a table profile so we use this quite a lot you can see the mapping of how we used it what else did we use here is um, lookup so this was lookup if you remember the referee stuff we had results for our matches we had the referees and then we did a lookup so you see how nice and neat it is so if your queries are nice and neat like this you can know what is depending on what so if I come and try and delete this for example it won't allow me to delete this query because lookup is dependent on this so if I want to delete this I must delete this first right so that's how you use your query dependencies and that's how um, Power BI and Excel manage all these query dependencies. You can see the mapping. It almost looks like Power Pivot. Yeah, Power Pivot data model. Very cool. Right, what's our last and last tip 